so excited. It's finally here. Okay, I say finally, but really it just took two days on Amazon. Um, I ordered photography paper. I will share what it is, where I got it, how to get it yourself, and if it works, up next. So I did something. I'm always thinking, right? Always trying to improve. And so in true Rebecca style, I said, no, no, editing photos to get a pure white background takes too much time. I can totally shave time off of my schedule if I just have a pure white background without having to do the photo editing. How does one do that? So I've been doing lots of experiments. If you can see, I mean, you can't, but if you could, you would see that I took the diffusers off of my lights as an experiment because I don't know anything about lighting. I wish I was a photographer officially and then I would know these things, but I don't. So I have noticed a little bit of a difference on certain items that taking the diffuser off of the light kit behind me has helped a little bit um, on certain items. Now I ordered and what I'm going to show today is photography paper because even though it's nice and it's clear, it's textured, it's matte, which I guess is good, but it's textured and it's not white. And so it's like, a, I don't know, eggshell taupe, whatever nonsense color. I have no idea. So I am going to try this photography paper. The reason why I got so flummoxed by it and haven't done it before is because I always thought that you had to like have one of those things that hold it up like a, you know, there's like a bar here and bars here and you, it's on a roll and you like roll it out. And then I saw some stuff online and I don't even think it was for people that do what we do reselling, but people that were doing like a backdrop for their YouTube videos. And I'm not concerned about that, but I thought, hmm, maybe if I put up the photography paper and like cut this out of it, cause I have my hook, I don't know if it's in the shot or not, but there's a hook here. And if I could cut that part out somehow nicely, seamlessly, whatever, to make it look good, I don't know, we have to try it out, then maybe I could get a nice pure white background for the photos. I have no idea, this is a total experiment, but if it works, you're gonna be the first to know. So, let's see what I can find out. So I'm doing, this is cool actually, I've never gotten anything in a 2B before. Gee, I'll have fun playing with this. Um, whoop. Oh, that's my fan. Yikes. I mean, this thing was like as tall as I forget. I think it was like 50 inches, which makes sense because I'm a little over five feet and it's coming up to about here. Five feet is 60 inches in case you didn't know for those useless fact people that like that kind of thing. I know all of it. There's 5,280 feet in a mile. You wanted to know that as well. But stay tuned for more nonsense trivia. Well, this is a whole thing. Ooh. I love reseller toys. So yes, this is in my like, I just did a video and released today for like all the things that are in my Amazon store for like reseller things that I use every day. And I've been saying that I've been wanting to do more like there's stuff that I wanna upgrade with my reselling business. So I thought it would be great to like buy different things from Amazon, do review videos. You guys can see me test out different types of things and make your own choice. And hopefully the stuff I buy <laughs> maybe get paid for. If you like it and you wanna buy it on Amazon through my link, that'd be great. Um, Again, not to be all like, you know, salesy girl or whatever, but we all know what's going on. We all know people need Amazon links and that sometimes we make some money off that stuff. I, um, with the little teeny tiny channel that I have at the moment, don't make barely anything, as in I haven't gotten a payout yet. Some people have bought some stuff, which is great and I appreciate it, um, but I don't think I've met the threshold yet to get a payment. So, like, I don't want to waste any of this, but I think I'm going to have to, like, cut this right here because how else am I going to... I mean, there's definitely going to be some... There's a piece of tape on it if you can't. This is, what's, this is what I'm dealing with. So this is 
is a nice, you can see, the nice, thick, you can hear it. I love the sound of paper sometimes. So, I mean, I guess do this, but like higher. And um, my husband hates holes in the walls, so likely I'm gonna like removable tape it. I don't know if that's gonna be enough to hold this or not, but we'll try it and we'll see. This is all just a big giant experiment. So, last shot so I taped it with removable tape all the way up at the top I'm not doing the sides right now just because I don't know if that's gonna show up I haven't done a test photo just yet obviously I don't have a lot of things that are wide so it probably shouldn't but you never know so if that's enough then that would be great but this is thick heavy paper so I definitely don't want it crashing down um, Gio's room is just on the other side so I'd be very upset if like this came crashing down and then woke him up um, but what I did here, which I wasn't sure was going to work, but it seems like it worked, is I felt and kind of like rubbed on the wall where the inside of the hook was because like this comes off. I don't want to do it now because I got it. I don't want to ruin it. So sorry. But you can slide this up. This is one of those command strips. And you can slide this up. I felt where it was. I pressed on it so that you could see the indentation through the paper of what's behind it. And then I use my scissor and I just snipped a little bit. So it's just literally like, oh, hello, I can show you this. It's like this much that I cut off. And then I just shoved this back on. So like that could work. Like I'm excited. So something's happening here. Oh, my Poshmark packages are tracking. Let's see. This isn't like my normal videos where I'm just like, I should have done this as a live. That would have been fun. So, bam. I mean, this is just one of my style and company. Let's see. Oh, I can't because you are in my phone. Um, <laughs> so, you're in my phone. I need my phone to test this out. So, see ya. So I've tried several things, including moving my lights closer. They were like back here where I'm standing and I moved them about a foot and a half, two feet closer. It didn't seem to work. I took the diffuser thing off, put it back on. It didn't seem to work. I put my photo reflector down on the floor. It didn't seem to work. I'm going to show in the video. I'll have to figure out how to insert them screenshots and basically I can't with any way shape or form get this set up any better <laughs> like it just like obviously that's white and that's great but the shot looks the same exact way as when I shoot it on that wall so it's nice it definitely enhances it you could tell that it's pure white in the photo but as far as the lighting itself on the item it just doesn't do what I want it to do. Now in this video, the lighting actually looks really nice, but I can't seem to emulate or replicate what PicTap Go can do. And so I took a photo on here just like this, and then I did PicTap Go to it, and man, that's the best shot I've ever seen. Like it enhances it even more. So I feel like having the white background photo paper is good, it definitely is better than having the grayer wall, but it's still a lighting issue, um, which I will try to continue to resolve, but I don't think it's bad to have this photo paper. If you have a different color wall, obviously that would be a super help. The gray wall was okay. I'm happy I bought it. I do think it's worth 30 bucks to add the white and to just continue to, because I did have some like marks and different things. Um, behind the wall so you know like there were marks and some scrapes so at least now it's like a nice clean shot I can just roll up another set when I want it or whatever I can share some with my photographer so I think that is good 
um, and worth the purchase, but it's not accomplishing the exact task that I was hoping it would. So I do still think I'm going to continue to use PicTap Go to brighten the photos. Um, but I do think that this does give it a white background and that in itself is good. And so it's an improvement. It's just not the full resolution <laughs> that I was hoping to have. So um, I will also put a screenshot of, because I took off the plastic wrap of the exact which one this is. Um, I think this was the Amazon Choice. I'll link it. I'll put a screenshot of it. It'll be in my Amazon store. If you do want to give it a try, if you do have a different color um, wall, I think it would be perfect. If you normally do flat lays and you want a, a seamless paper, you could probably lay this across a table and it would work better than like various foam core poster board pieces. If you wanted to create, like you could have rolled this out down here and make, um, you know, like I could roll that as the backdrop over my photo reflector and that's how I could do like shoes and stuff. So that would work. And, um, you know, like I said, obviously if you have a different color wall. So I think though, for people that do flat lays that want to go to a hanging option, but haven't because they have a different color wall, this is probably the best thing because you could just throw it up there with some removable tape. It doesn't require any permanent solution. If you have a hook, clearly you can still make do with the hook you have. And I like all of that. So I definitely think that it was worth it getting it. Um, I'm still in search of the perfect lighting situation, but more on that to come. So thanks so much for joining me on this. If I have any other closing thoughts, I'll add them. Otherwise, I will leave it here.